good afternoon. Uh, my name is Joe Montoya. That's J-O-E-M-O-N-T-O-Y-A. I am the Division Chief of Investigations for Denver Police Department. I'm here to discuss a uh, triple homicide that occurred last night on the 3000 block of South Golden Way. At 9.33 p.m., uh, we received a call indicating that there was a uh, potential shooting on the 3000 block of South Golden Way. Officers responded to that location. They made entry into the home. They found three gunshot victims and a fourth adult victim who had been injured uh, by non by not by gunfire. Uh, one female adult was pronounced on scene. The one juvenile and uh, one adult were transported to a hospital where they were later pronounced deceased. We started to work uh, the information that we received throughout the night, developed some information on the vehicle, uh, which uh, helped lead us to the uh, identification of the suspect. We were able to locate the suspect in a Northeast Denver neighborhood. A uh, suspect by the name uh, of Bustamon Cardabrata. Uh, forgive me if I didn't pronounce that right. It's B-U-S-T-A-M-A-N. Last name K-A-R-T-A-B-R-A-T-A. -A -A. Date of birth 8559. He was arrested at that location and is now in police custody and is being investigated for uh, first degree murder. Um, that's pretty much the, the incident as, as we handled it through the night, so I now open it up for any questions. Right now. We, we did determine there, there was uh, a closing on the house that had occurred. I'm not sure uh, quite exactly the, the details of that. But uh, there was indication that there there was people moving in and out of this, this home. We do not know at this time what the exact motive was. Uh, it was some sort of conflict. We're still trying to determine the relationship between the suspect and the family. We do know that they were very well acquainted and knew each other very well. So it was some sort of conflict that occurred that evening that led to this. Targeted? Pardon me? Was it targeted? Was it targeted? Do not know. Don't know what the motive was. If it's something that just occurred as as he was at the home, or if he went through the intent of doing something bad. Like There's some sort of we're trying to vet that. There's potential that, that that he is actually a family member, but we're not sure of that. Yet. Disclose that right now. We're still working on uh, on uh, communicating with all family members. We, had, we don't know that we've located all the family that's local in uh, the community, so we want to make sure, for respect for them, that we do that before we disclose that. And then the actual identities will be disclosed by the coroner, hopefully in close proximity today. Can you talk more about the injured person? What were the injuries and what were the injuries? I can't get it. It's still part of the active investigation. Uh, non life threatening, I'll put it that way. And were the victims? Were they moving in or moving out? Uh, again, that's part of the active investigation. I don't uh, want to disclose that right now. There's someone who was able to get away from the house and run to a neighbor to make a 911 call. There was a uh, another family member in the home that uh, was unharmed that was able to get out. Is that an adult or a juvenile? It's a juvenile. I'll describe it as this, uh, in all my time as a police officer, this is one of the most emotional uh, cases that I've ever dealt with, and I'm not just talking about myself, everybody that was involved in this, from the victims advocates to the hospital workers, were shaken by this incident. It was just a very, uh, it's something that didn't need to happen, it's just so senseless. It, it, these things it brings everybody it, it just ramps up how, how hard everybody works to make sure that we, we get closure and, and try to bring a quick conclusion to this. The son that got away is he with family members now or was this oh, I, I 
can't that I can't disclose that right now. You know, a handgun, a long gun, or I, I, again, that's part of the active investigation. I could say that there was a, a gun used, but I can't tell you what the caliber was. Or anything. Was it found at the scene or was the suspect? Was it found at the scene or was the suspect? Um, there was a, a gun found with the suspect. We have not determined if it's the one that was used uh, during the crime. Can't yet have not yet determined if there was something that led up to it or if it was just a, an emotion that was sparked at that moment.